But now the starter is calling them in. He's going over to Mount the Rostrum. They come up to the tapes now. It won't be long before the 39 runners are dispatched for this, the 157th running of the Martel Cognac Grand National. Coming into line, Smarty, Chris Accessor is back behind them, David's lad standing well back. It's essential that you get a good position. Very, very hard to come from the way, way off the pace. It has been done, of course. Uh, this race, the world's biggest steeplechase, the most demanding there is. 30 fences ahead of them, four and a half miles, and away they go. They're off and running in the Martel Cognac Grand National and uh, Alexander Bagwood down near the inside from Hedge Hunter, his stablemate. They're up there early from Monty's Pass and further back in the field then is Wonder Weasel from Joss Naylor. Back in the field to his punt tell of the early stages from Bounce Back. Out wider then is El Capone as they go over the valley road and we join Ian Bartlett. So down to the first of the 30 fences, Akarus is up there with Luz Kadu and Alexander Banquet. And at the first fence, Arctic Jack is a faller. Kalami was brought down by the fall of Luzkadu at the tail of the field as well. And so it's three of them, Arctic Jack, Luzkadu and Kalami down at the first as they come over. Fence number the two. Now the open ditch number three. Alexander Banquet, Gullah Balban, Puntal from Al Capone. Then comes Hedge Hunter, Montes Pass, Bounce Back and Acris as they come over from Justin Dead. We lose one there. Shardam is down, unseats the rider and he's the only to one to go at fence number three as they quickly come down to the fourth with Alexander Banquet on the inside with bounce back hedge hunter at the center and Al Capone the first couple of leaders over that blowing wind and Bramble will duke behind those as we join Tony O'Hare. They're racing down now towards the fence before Beaches and uh, in the center Al Capone right there towards the inside hedge hunter and Gunnar Wellburn and behind these is uh, Alexander Banquet. Bramble Hill Duke is out wide. Pontal is also handy with Acarus and also uh, we can also say that uh, Jurison was a faller a couple of fences back as they come to jump uh, Beaches now and the leaders hedge hunter and on the inside there uh, we've lost a bounce back at that one also gone is Acaris sky cab is down and also down is what's up boys blowing wind refused as they go to the fine haven fence and hedge hunter and Al Capone are the two leaders followed by Gunnar Wellburn in third Lord Atterbury is next and behind these is Pontal Alexander Banker on the inside and behind these is Monty's pass who's followed by Wonder Weasel and Smarty and Justin Dett and then Southern Stars they reach the canal turn Al Capone on the inside bad mistake Alexander Bankbit but survived it and they're uh, all safely over the leaders exit to waivers at the back of the field Pindari is also out of the race as they clear the next fence the leaders are uh, Hedge Hunter and alongside Al Capone as we join Darren Owen approaching the 10th exit to wave pulled up before Valentine's and it's Al Capone and Hedge Hunter they're disputing the leaders they jump this plain fence Puntal is just in behind them followed by Gunnar Welburn then to the outside comes Lord Atterbury further back to Monty's pass. Alexander Banquet is against the rail. Bear on board is to the outside. This is a big open ditch. The Rat Hedge Hunter flew the ditch by a length and a half, followed by Al Capone back in second place. Back in the field is a bad mistake there from Wonder Weasel looking to the rear. A plum last at the moment is the Bunny Boiler. They're going on towards the next, and it's Hedge Hunter by a couple of lengths. Al Capone brushed through the top of that one. Puntal is well to the fore. Lord Atterbury further back then to Gunnar Welburn already being driven along. Alexander Banquet, then last year's winner, Monty's pass who's being followed by Bear on board, Justin Dead, Smarty is next, Plan Royal is still in the race, so too is Le Coubre. they're back on the race course proper over to Jim McGrath. Well, the leaders here for Ireland is a Hedge Hunter from Puntel, and just behind them is El Capone, who's been making a lot of the running. In fourth position, Lord Atterbury, the outside, then the riderless horse, followed by Gunnar Wellburn and Alexander Banquet, who's been prominent throughout. Monty's pass, last year's winner, is jumping well, and he's in about sixth or seventh position, the white sleeves and cap, a gap to Bear on board, followed then by Clan Royal as they come up towards this next uh, plane fence now and as they draw towards it now and the riderless horse as they go over the 13th there is causing a little bit of problems and it's uh, Hedge Hunter on the far side who shows the way. Hedge Hunter, the Willie Mellons train chaser is the leader as they come to the 14th from Puntel. Then in third is Lord Atterbury jumping at fourth is Al Capone followed by Gunnar Welburn and Alexander Banquet from Mondi's Pass. They're all over it safely. Further back is Clan Royal. 
Definitely by Bear on board and Takagi and Star Smarty from Just in Debt. A gap in the field of Ambly House as they come to the chair. And Hedge Hunter headed over in the lead there from Funtel. Jumping it in third, Lord Adderby going there as Takagi. A faller at the chair and the, all the others got over it well as they come to the water. The leader is Hedge Hunter, clear of Funtel. Lord Adderby jumping at third, Al Capone in fourth. Followed by Clan Royal and Gunner Wellburn. Then Monty's pass is handy. Alexander Bank with the inside four or five lengths then the bear on board followed by smarty amberley uh, house is next mantle sprints has been pulled up lacou dre is next uh, followed then in the field by wonder weasel then out wider ruler tells it just in debt from arden scout david's lad then king's mark back in the field southern star followed then by the money boiler spot the difference is next just nail is a long last and 22 of them are still continuing as we rejoin ian bartlett and they head down to fence number 17 hedge hunter stood out there with a green cap in front the white jacket of Pantel in second and then comes Lord Atterbury blue cap in third Clan Royal Liam Cooper getting him a lot closer he's stalking through this field into fourth nay then Alexander Banquet on the inside Montes Pass and Bear on board in the yellow jacket behind this is Al Capone as they come to this next plane fence and then comes the Coudre and Amberley House and Alexander Banquet is a faller there as they head down towards the ditch again. Hedge Hunter leading, Pantel second, then Clan Royals now into third as they come over from Lord Asbury. Pantel has gone there, Modest passes over it okay, Lacoutre clears it okay, Wonder Wheels, a terrible mistake, Kings Mark Davids that at the back, the Bunny Boiler well back amongst them with Risk Accessor and Joss Naylor still on his way to it now as the leaders have cleared the other ones and Joss Naylor has been pulled up before the 19th, we rejoin Tony O'Hare. Coming to the fence before Beatrice, Hedge Hunter leads from Clan Royal in second, then Lord Atterbury in third place, pulled up as Gunnar Wellburn. A gap then to last year's winner, Monty's pass, then comes Bear on board. Behind him, Al Capone, then Amberley House, and after Amberley House, Le Coudre, and a gap to uh, Royal Atalza as they come to Beaters, where uh, among the fallers on the first circuit, we uh, also lost uh, Risk Accessor in Montreal as they clear that one, and it's Hedge Hunter, the leader over Beaters. Clan Royal's uh, rider, Liam Cooper, stealing a peep over his shoulder as they go over that one, the Coudre's out of it at Beecher's, the Bunny Boiler's a long way behind, they come to the Foynaven fence and Hedge Hunter jumps to the head of Clan Royal, Lord Atterbury close in third, about eight lengths back to Bear on board, four Motley's past five, Amberley House six, twelve lengths to Al Capone, then comes Royal Atals that we've lost, Justin Dead at the Foynaven, Smarty still in the race, so too David's ladder at the canal turn, Hedge Hunter from Clan Royal, Lord Atterbury, slight mistake there, clear from Motley's pass who lands fourth on the inside of Bear on board, Amberley House next clear of uh, Al Capone as they go out over Valentine's Hedge Hunter, the leader, with uh, Clan Royal and Lord Atterbury clear of Monty's pass as we rejoin Darren Owen. They've got five to jump and it's Hedge Hunter being pressed by Clan Royal to the inside. Lord Atterbury's running a big race to the outside. Clan Royal made a mistake, so did Lord Atterbury. Uh, looking behind Amberley House, Sheepskin Noseband is getting into contention. Bear on board and Monty's pass are being driven along. Al Capone is out of the race, that one pulled up. This is the last ditch four from home. It's Hedge Hunter and Clan Royal together. And then a break of about two lengths to Lord Atterbury. They're clear of Amberley House, Monty's pass bear on board. And then further back to Smarty, David's lad and Wonder Weasel. This is the third last in the national. And it's Hedge Hunter from Clan Royal. Lord Atterbury's in behind them. And then after this one, Amberley House, as they go on towards the Melling Road, they're looking further back. Wonder Weasel's been pulled up. They thunder across the Melling Road. They've got two fences to jump. And it's Hedge Hunter being pressed by Clan Royal. Lord Atterbury holds every chance over to Jim McGrath. Well, three major chances in the 150th, seventh running of this Martel Cognac Grand National. Hedge Hunter for Ireland on the near side, grabbed now by Clan Royal in the colours of J.P. McManus, who takes it up now. Then in third is Lord Atterbury, running a great race for Mark Bradburn, and they've kicked away a long way in front of Amberley House, is continuing on, and Monty's pass is a distant fifth. They've got two fences left to jump in the Martel Cognac Grand National. On the far side, under the whip is Clan Royal, Lord Atterbury, Mark Bradburn, Burn is riding confidently in the centre. Hedge Hunters on the left as they jump the second last. They all jump it well, clear of Amberley House. A long gap then to Monty's Pass. They've got one fence to jump in the Grand National. Clan Royal going up and down in the one spot. In the centre is Lord Atterbury. Near side is Hedge Hunter. They've won the jump. Like Clan Royal stuck, got over that one. Hedge Hunters are faller at the last. Clan Royal in front by two or three lengths. Trying hard is now at Lord Atterbury on the near side. As they race up now onto the running, they head towards the elbow. It's Clan Royal is veering off a straight line. He's running all over the place. Now Lord Atterbury and Amberley House on the near side as they're on the running for home. It's
Ajax Crown Royal is just in front. Now Amberley House is absolutely flying down the outside. It might be another one for Ginger McCain. It's Amberley House. Amberley House is going to give the Red Run man a win in the National. Amberley House wins the National in second Crown Royal. In third, then Lord Adamry. And it's a good race for fourth. Monty's pass gets fourth in fifth in spot the difference. Sixth is Smarty. Seventh is Arden Scout. In uh, eighth position, Bear on board. Then King's Mark from the Bunny Boiler. And David's Land is the last of those to finish. Ginger McCain, Mr. Red Rum, has won his fourth Grand National. He has trained Amberley House to win the 2004 Martel Cognac Grand National in the hands of the very, very talented Graham Lee. The winner is number 17, Amberley House, owned by Howard International, trained by Ginger McCain and ridden by Graham Lee. Second is number 27, and that is Clan Royal, owned by J.P. McManus, trained by John Joe O'Neill, ridden by Liam Cooper. And third is number 33, Lord Atterbury, owned by D.A. Johnson, trained by Martin Pipe and ridden by Mark Bradman. What a ride he gave it as well. And fourth is number two, Monty's Pass, owned by D. Racing Syndicate, trained by Jimmy Mangan and ridden by Barry Geraghty. Graham Lee has won the Grand National. And let's look at look for the trainer, Ginger McCain. There is Graham Lee. He cannot believe it. Amberley House has won it. This 28-year-old rider. Amberley House's third Grand National attempt. He'd run so well before, and he loves Aintree. And who would have thought after the magic years, the golden years of steeplechasing in the 70s, when Ginger McCain and Red Rum dominated the scene, who would have ever thought that the Southport trainer could come up with uh, another to win this big race? 16 to 1, if you had it, what a price. Amberley House is the winner, Graham Lee, here he is coming back, and there is Ginger, being congratulated, and the winner has scored officially by three lengths, with two lengths between second and third, he always had faith in this horse, Ginger, he always said that this was the horse that could win him another Grand National, and he even at one stage begged with a handicapper to put him up in the weights because he wanted to make sure he got into the field.